Groups a lot of people who walked over me. Groups a lot of people who thought that I wasn't gonna be nothing. Groups a lot of people who try to bring me down on a daily basis. Groups a lot of people who wanna talk down on me. Okay, real, because you can never come back. What is up you guys, welcome back to the channel. So for those of y'all who don't know the Ash Talk is, I'll leave my first Ash Talk in the description box. Basically an Ash Talk, it's a girl talk, a guy talk, I don't discriminate. Today's episode is on friends. And not every y'all, not all of y'all bros, it's y'all bros. So boys, stay tuned. I just did my hair, I tried to record while I was doing my hair, I just couldn't do it. It's in another bun. Hopefully I get my hair done this week. I still don't know. I still got stitches in my head. You know, things were supposed to be happening this weekend that just was not happening. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video. I probably shouldn't be doing this video right now because I got a big attitude right now. This might be more entertaining for y'all, but I'm a bit triggered at the moment. And talking about friends is not gonna make it no better. First of all, what is a friend? Because some people, I don't know if y'all just don't know or y'all just don't know how to be one. <laughs> friend is basically somebody that you can come to about pretty much anything. Don't gotta be everything. I got friends who I come to about certain stuff too. Somebody who doesn't switch up on you, they don't act funny around you. So they're pretty much here to stay. They don't use you. Um, I'm pretty much describing myself at this point. If you got me as a friend, I can see yourself lucky. But then you get into toxic friends because those are the people who do use you. Or those are the people who do act funny, swerve you around other people. You know, stuff like that who really not friends. Sometimes you can tell, sometimes you really can't. Um, some people got a good way of hiding it. But the ones that you just, sometimes you really just want to, just don't want to believe that somebody is toxic for you or somebody is not your friend. You know, it's usually because they might be older than you, so you want to be their friend. Or you might like the people who they hang around, so you want to be their friend so you can be friends with the other people. You might like the way they dress or the stuff that they got. But like I said in my first Ash talk, we don't do toxic relationships. We don't do toxic friendships. So if you want a toxic friendship, relationship, whatever shit, needs to be done. Because we don't deal with that over here. You know, I'm not going to beg you to be my friend period we're not doing that so that brings me to like people on their high horses okay people who are like stuck up they think that they better than you and all that stuff now i can get to bragging about asking all oh, day but i don't act like that my friends gonna tell you i'm bougie i'm gonna tell you i'm bougie because i'm bougie but i'm not stuck up i'm bougie i'm not stuck up though so people who are stuck up i didn't deal with those those are the type of people you cut off. I'm going to get into all the people I cut off, okay? Not every last one of them, but those types of people that I cut off. Ever since I had friends, I've been cutting them off. I just cannot deal. First grade, I met a girl. We're going to call her Cece, okay? I got really close to Cece and Jay. And I thought, you know, we was all just best friends. Like, it was no problem. Well, Cece didn't really want two best friends. And she was and Jay. So I was kind of hurt about it because... Not only did I lose CC right, I lost Jay. So me being a little kid that I was, I was almost begging her to like change her mind and stuff like that. Looking back at it, I'm cringing because ugh. But, cause that hurt my feelings. So, eventually I let it go. I was like, you know what, all right, do what you want. She was one of them kids who mama was always at the school. So like everybody knew her mama, so everybody knew her. So that's why she was popular. And pretty much her mama just worried about her being popular. So it was that type of thing. So she was really stuck up. Like she didn't know nothing else. So all the friends that I was making by myself, she would just latch on to soon. I mean, okay, whatever. But I was in a four or five split. So like some of the people who are juniors now, I didn't know them since I was in fourth grade, you know? So she also befriended some of them. So get back into it. Me and her fell out for whatever reason, don't remember. It was late start, Wednesday. Um, school starts out like so my mama couldn't take her to school all the time, so she got dropped off at my house. So she came to my house and went upstairs. Ben said nothing to me, nothing. I'm like, okay, you gonna come in my house and I said nothing to me, you not gonna speak? Oh, okay. All I remember is her saying, 
I just think Ashley is a hypocrite because my mom was trying to sort through it or whatever. She was like, well, CC, do you know what a hypocrite is? She was like, <laughs> no, not really. I just know that she is like, no, no, I'm smart. Y'all know that I'm smart. So you want to sit up here and call me something that you don't even know the definition of? Please get back because I just could not do it. So even we was arguing, we was arguing, and eventually I just couldn't even take it no more. She was so stupid. So later that day, or later that week, whenever it was, we was doing crown back until we gonna call her Sky, cause I mean, no day turn it back. I was talking to Sky. She came up and kind of got in the conversation, like cut me off and all that. And I don't know if she touched me first or what, but I pushed her. And her eyes, guys, she got real big eyes. She just looked like, like she couldn't believe that I would touch her and I was pushing. But I was fed up. And I was like, are you serious right now? Hey, over here on this channel, we don't deal with it. So if you got somebody like that, they're dismissed. Okay, they're canceled. That's what we say. So y'all know anything? Okay, she backdoored me, but she tried to. Um, and y'all know if y'all watched my last Ash talk, I'm gonna be breaking it up all video. So y'all might as well just go watch it so y'all can get him. Okay, I brought up my first love, right? That's my boo. Always gonna be my boo. Okay, till I die. We're going out for a couple months. But like I said, it's just about the bond. So me and like close bond. So even still we was like going back and forth just like how we still doing. And it was this girl who I was friends with since like third grade and knew each other through family and stuff like that. So we was always friends. So at that point it was like maybe five years. So at the time me and my boo was off, right? Well, she thought that she could step in. But first of all, just go for anybody. All I have to do is text him back. And everything that you thought, it's over. I mean, it happens all. She ended up liking him, I guess. It wasn't the fact that she liked him, or that she tried to go to movies with him, or try to mess with him, or whatever. The fact, it was the fact that she didn't say nothing to me about it. Cause that, to me, is wrong. You like somebody that I mess with, that you know that I've been messing with, and you gonna try and take them afterwards. All you had to do was come up to me like, hey, Ashlyn, I think I like them, you know, whatever. I'm just like, no, you don't gotta care about how I feel about it. It's just the fact, it's just the respect. Like, you respect me, you respect me and you, you respect me and my relationship. But it was just never that. Me and her have not spoken to this day. And it's sad because there's so much going on that I can't even tell her about. She got friends, and that's what I'm saying. When you do people dirty like that, or like, you you know, people never, you don't gotta understand. You don't gotta agree with me. That's how I rush. That's how I deal with stuff, okay? You're not finna. First of all, I don't play with my boo. <laughs> You're not finna mess with my boo. I think we're gonna be cool. If y'all see my mouth looking funny, it's because I got my retainers in. And if I'm talking funny to y'all, sorry. It's sad because the company that she keep is not no company like me not really her friends but like the stuff that i need to say is not my business somewhere because we're not friends you know what i'm saying if people gonna use you why not use them i'm not saying do it first but sometimes two wrongs make you feel better other than that i just cut you off there's really no coming back from stuff like that rips all the people who walked over me rips all the people who thought that i wasn't gonna be nothing Ripped all the people who try to bring me down on a daily basis. Ripped all the people who want to talk down on me. Okay, real. Because you can never come back. So when Ashley was gone, spent four years in college, a couple years in medical school, and by the time I'm 30 making six figures and you still on the corner, okay, that's my point. We're not the same. And that's why, that was my point of saying that story from fourth grade. Me and her is not the same. She don't have no friends. She still just the same as she used to when she was in third grade. I mean, can we grow up? If people want to talk about you, let them. People want to make posts. People want to be petty, let them. Because you're going to be off doing bigger and better things and they're going to be on the corner hustling for some money. Okay, because really what they should be doing now since they at school is chasing a bag. But they're not chasing a bag, okay? They're chasing drama. So you chase your bag and they can do what they want because it's not your business. They always say in high school you're going to lose friends and all this. And I never really ran into that problem. I've been cutting people off since I had friends. So I don't really see a difference. I probably got more friends now than I did in ninth grade, middle school, 
this is just the beginning of the year. Who knows what happens? If I had 2,000 friends, like, what is the purpose? This is not Facebook. This is real life. I go, why do you want all these people in your space? Like, look, I know what I do for my friends, so if I'm not getting nothing in return, we can't be friends. But at the end of the day, there are people that you can really call your true friends, people that are really real people that are gonna get you through high school, get you through middle school, get you through college, get you through life, period, wherever you're at in life right now. Um, not everybody is fake, not everybody is toxic, okay? You just gotta know how to filter people in and out, cause God take people in your life, God take them out. Do face people, I don't deal with fake people, don't deal with toxic people, I don't deal with people on their high horses, and I definitely don't deal with two face people. Your trials came, the way that they did, they wouldn't tell you, um, what team made immediately. I was still coming to practice, like trying to prove myself, like trying to prove that I'm supposed to be on varsity or whatever. Cause I didn't know whatever. Like, I thought that was why they didn't tell me if I had to come to practice. I was like, okay, I'll come. So I went to practice this particular day. Now I was there, just kind of off to the wall, just by myself. Cause I don't, if y'all, like I got I'm a very personable person. I attract people, okay? I have a lovely personality. It's like A1, okay? But I don't like people. I'm not friendly. I don't like people. I'm not gonna pretend like I do. Moozy? Yeah. Does it have to do with it? Maybe. This girl, we're gonna call her Kay. Um, she was off to the side with these other two girls that I don't like, right? So, it was, a, it was one of the girls. It was like really messy. So, she went to Kay and she was like, why you not talking to your friend? Why you not over there with your friend? The woman said louder, like she was just trying to be really petty about it. So, Kay, let me tell you about Kay. Kay tries to fit in. Pretty much what happened was when the girl was like, you know, why you not over there with your friend? Blah, blah, blah. She was like, that's not my friend. You don't send me over there with her, do you? Do you? Do you? Okay, then. Like, she was just doing too much. She was really loud. How everybody just kind of looked like that way. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you talking about? And she was just doing too much. And that's how I know it was about me. So, me and Kay, like I said, we off and on. But I never did nothing to her at that point. She was really just following the leader down. She was really just following the lead. So I was like, you know what, all right. Because before that I had been like smiling at her, like trying to talk, just like that she wasn't really dealing. So I was like, okay. And then this happened, I was like, you know what, bet. So I went to practice, I did what I had to do, found out I was on varsity. Kay ended up being on varsity as well. So now that her the two little friends, sidekick is gone, she kind of want to be in my face. She kind of want to laugh at my jokes. She kind of want to be in my conversation. She kind of want to agree with me all the time. She want to, you know, try to be friends again. So like I said, she's two-faced. She's flip-flop. She's fake. So I was talking to Alexis. So me and Alexis have known each other since like fifth grade, but we had got closer now, of course, because we ended up school. We do cheer together. So I had talked to her about it. I told her we can out to lay on now. And about how she would like laugh at my jokes and like be in my face and stuff like that. So I told Lexi about it and she was like, yeah, no, you don't gotta deal with that. We not, no, we're not gonna deal with it. So I decided not to. Usually I take people, took her in with open arms. I'm done with that. Cause that's that, and what she did, really dirty. Cause you're only acting like this cause you don't have no friends now. Like I said, I'm personally cool with everybody on the team. Me and the seniors be out to McDonald's little seasons after school almost every day. Like it's it's just like that. And she don't she not like that, you know. Alright guys, so that's the end of this Ash Talk episode two um on friendships. I hope you guys enjoyed um this Ash Talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic and enjoy how comfortable I looked um this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you give me a big like, big thumbs up, um, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell down below so you get my post notifications. And um, I'll get back to y'all in another video this week. I'm out. <laughs>